Hello Internet and welcome back. So today, this is going to be a very short video for me today. Um, so I'm going to show you a, a method called handle tick event that is built into TouchGFX. And uh, what we can do with this is actually pretty nice. So I set up a very, very small uh, TouchGFX design project here. This is just a black screen. We're going to add a, um, let's see, a, a slider. No, actually uh, we're going to do box progress here. Just having put this in the middle here. Um, I'm going to set the initial value here to, let's just put that all the way down to zero. We can run this in your simulator, see what that looks like. Uh, this is going to be a pretty boring simulator. You can see here, this is just a black screen with a, with a white uh, box. So this is our box progress. Just, I'll just hit generate code here, and then we'll go directly to the cube ID. And then the cube ID, this is based on the... Uh, STM32 F746 Disco board application template. So application template for for this board here. Uh, I'll go directly into the application here. Uh, let's find the GUI and the screen one view.cpp file here. So the nice thing about the handle tick event is that we can implement that on the view level. So the only thing we need to do is is we're going to have to go to the HPP file here. We're going to add a virtual uh, if I can spell correctly, virtual void handle tick event. Remember the capital T and E, like this. Also, I will. it's not necessary, but I'll ju just do it because it's easy. I'll just make an integer here, I called uh, tick counter. Set that to zero, like this. That's it for the uh, HPP file. And then we can implement the function or the method here, void screen like this, handle tick event, like this. Okay, so the nice thing is that this method here will be fired every time a frame is rendered. So that means that we should be able to get our box progress. Let's see if we can find it here. Box progress, we probably just need to refresh in our files here. Let's just go to index and rebuild. Just takes a couple of seconds. And box progress one, there we have it. We can actually uh, just press dot here and set value. Can we use that? We'll set the value of the of the progress bar. We'll just set it to the value of the tick counter like this. We will invalidate because we always have to invalidate after we change something like this. We need to tell touch effects that we need to redraw this. And we will increment tick counter just by one like this. We'll just do a quick uh, if structure here. If the tick counter is above 100, then we want to uh, reset that back to zero like so. So we'll just save this. Actually, I'll just go directly back into our simulator here. Simulator. The simulator will take that information that we just wrote in the, in the view. .cpp, and you can see now we have a nice animated uh, progress bar. Uh, this is handled by the, the the frames, or so every time a new frame is is ready, our handle tick event will fire, and that is actually pretty nice because we don't need to go through. If we just want a simple interaction, uh, we could we could actually keep it inside the the view here. Um, I will leave it up to you to what you could use this for. I know that I'm going to be using this for a lot of different stuff. I'm actually already using this in another project. Uh, it's really, really easy to to let the let the animations happening uh, or happen from uh, from within the the uh, the screen one view here. So uh, this is just um, let's just call this a, a quick insight into TouchGFX. I hope you could use this and. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching.